Hello to the seven of you doing this paper. My name is Jordan. This is level three unfamiliar text. I'm here doing my favorite English standard. Um, so along with level one, level two, a lot of the whole unfamiliar text techniques remain the same, you know, identifying language features that you should all know by now, hopefully um, annotating the text and then yarning about how this means the author is afraid of dogs or whatever. So in order to save paper and battery, we're not going to go through all of that here. So if you want more um, on the basics, make sure to check out level one and level two videos. But aside from that, here's how to get excellence in level three unfamiliar text, if it's even possible. So at level two, they want you to argue about what you think the author's purpose is using language features to support it. At level three though, they want you to go a little bit deeper. In order to get excellence, you need to present a discussion about how the writer is conveying, you know, some personal experience or message from the text. And the last question is, do you want to compare the two texts? So it's all about presenting a discussion. Let's get into how to actually do that. So let's say the essay question is discuss the way in which the writer reflects on their own development. Um, so when we present a discussion, we're not talking about individual aspects and the you know, author's purpose. We're presenting a whole range of ideas you might extract from the text and how you might want to apply that to our own lives. So for example, you might discuss the ways in which the writer reflects on their development throughout the entire piece, um, why this is important and how it might teach us something. So in order to make things a little bit clearer for the marker and to make their job easier so they like you, in order to present a discussion, we want to start our essay off with our overarching idea or concept and how it is developed throughout the text. This is your thesis statement and it's what your basically your introduction has to be. You'll then get into how and why this is shown throughout the text and how you might want to be applying this to um, our own lives or the effect that it has on us. Then it's time to bring in some aspects of unfamiliar text. So we all know the basics like metaphor and similes by now, but level three when you go a little bit deeper, you can check out the assessment specifications and schedule for examples on this. Um, we also should be using a range of features and it also does not have to be purely um, literary. So it doesn't have to be things like symbolism, metaphor, it can be you know, intended audience, purpose, um, themes, stuff like that. So the bulk of the paragraph is spent on the analysis, linking it back to our overarching concept. We want to say how um, the combination of lots of different aspects used together, um, so not just focusing on one or two, um, is what's led uh, you or me to feel some kind of way to understand the writer's message or experience or overarching idea into a lot more detail and be able to apply it to ourselves. The whole point is to have uh, the whole relationship between the author and the reader. So in order to get excellence, because apparently it's possible on familiar text, you need to make sure your analysis is perceptive and critical. It's actually okay analyzing a super simple word such as but or after. If you think that there might be different interpretations, this is how we might critically evaluate our understanding of the text. I want to show how there are different kind of ideas we can extract from that. In order to get really top marks, you also want to, we also might want to show how the writer developed or changed their opinion throughout the piece, or how this piece might relate to other examples of literature, or the society or culture in which it was written, and what it might tell us about our own. You also might want to show examples from different parts of the text and link them together to show how its a concept is developed or might remain the same throughout the whole piece, and how and why. So lastly, the third question is where we talk about the similarities and differences, but you guess that we also need to say how and why in order to get the top marks. So our whole structure and like philosophical analysis kind of remains the same. We're going to be using aspects from both texts, but the whole point is to compare them and contrast and explain why two different writers in two different times or maybe the same time might have different approaches to your overarching concepts such as the passage of time or relationships or whatever. So this is not obviously focused on the text itself. It's focused on the, you know, their wider lives, their culture, their beliefs, their perceptions. And we can actually extract that from the text itself. But because you know, that's kind of a hard thing to do because we're not all Sherlock Holmes, that's why we need to be analyzing these techniques and they're unfamiliar. So in order to also get the top, top, top marks in the last question, we should be spending a little bit of time analyzing why this is important. 
So does it, you know, show us something about ourselves or the world we live in or how different perceptions of the world can give different results and this might explain things? It doesn't really matter to have a little bit of a yarn about that. So in order to get excellence in level three unfamiliar texts, you should spend some time, you know, reading the text in detail, underlining everything you can, thinking about how different aspects might be different or the same in different areas of the text. Spend a bit of time thinking about why we're doing this paper in the first place, and then implement the same skills from level one and level two, along with your new philosophical, perceptive, critical analysis of how different writers might use different aspects for different results. Unfortunately, NCQA does not publish the um, text they used in previous years to make life harder um, for you. Um, but you might want to check out different poems or different short stories online. Just have a go at practicing, pretending like you're giving a lecture about it. Um, if you want more help, you can also check out the written articles on Study Time website. So yeah, peace, good luck.